the other thing I wanted to talk about, uh, my stream setup. Now, I haven't really put this out on a video or anything yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, right now, I've got a TV that I got back when the PS3 first released, and it's a nice 1080p TV, but it's, uh, it's kind of a knockoff Insignia brand. You know, it's Insignia, but it's, it doesn't have a lot of features. Like, for one thing, it does not have one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one pixel ratio, which is really bad. It has one-to-one -to, -one to two. So everything looks really zoomed in, even on a widescreen setting. It's not working out. And the PS4 has like a adjuster of some sort where you can enlarge or decrease the size of a game or something like that. It doesn't work. It just flat out doesn't work, either for video games or for the UI or anything. So if I were to go browse like, I don't know, a, a Twitch stream, if I were to watch that on the browser, which I probably wouldn't do, it, you, I would not be able to see the full thing. If I blew it up to maximum size, the edges would be pretty severely cut off. It, it hasn't been m that much a negative for video game playing. It's just the borders of a screen. But I notice it, and it is a bit of a bother. Mostly, the big problem with my TV is that it's way too dark. And even though I up the brightness and contrast, it really heavily washes shit out. So... I think at this point it's just a super old TV, like I said, got it back when the PS3 released. That's super old. Uh, <laughs> and that's really just what it comes down to. I gotta get something more recent. That's one of the things I'm gonna buy uh, once I'm on the job, once I'm employed and I save up some cash. That's one of the things I'm gonna pick up. The other thing I'm gonna pick up is this streaming device. And just kind of a, a really quick rehash of how this happened. Back when the PS4 first released, back in 2013 or something like that, end of 2013, uh, I picked it up about a month after release and started streaming pretty much right away. Just I just wanted to try it. It had the, it had streaming. It has streaming capabilities on it, and I was like, you know, maybe that'd be fun. Like, why did they put it in there if I'm not going to give it a try and see what it's like? Uh, it was Killzone Shadowfall, in which I had maybe two or three people hang out during that uh, time they never really talked but for some reason I thought it was pretty cool and I gave it another shot on the next game which I think was Knack or Knock I can't even remember it anymore it was that really weird uh, Pixar movie looking game uh, that one I had a lot of people join me for because apparently they didn't want to play it but they wanted to look at it and uh, I had like 30 people all hanging out by the time I beat that game I talked to quite a few of them, so that was cool. After that, that's when I really was like, this is fun. I get to talk to people, I get to kind of communicate while I play games, I get to share my first time with games, the games I enjoy, you know, shit like that. Why not I keep it going? And I did. It's just from there, it just I kept on going. Uh, and it was all off the PS4. I, I'd say that was probably most of the time I streamed so far was on the PS4. Uh... Back then, you couldn't save your videos to Twitch as an archive. You couldn't um, adjust the audio. You, you couldn't adjust the quality at all. I couldn't have Twitch alerts. They don't support it on uh, the PS4 because it's just it's innate hardware. Pretty limiting. Like, in fact, I would say it's about the most limited way you can stream something. That camera up there. I have a camera up there. Uh, I would have to sit down over here. I would have to sit down here on the floor where you can't quite see it. And that way the dog where he is right now, I would have to put my head somewhere right around this general vicinity, right? And then the, the camera on the PS4 would auto detect my face and put the camera right here, which would happen to be where the dog is. Then I would have to get up, move all the way over here and like put like a pillow in front of my face. I'd have to block the camera, you know, like, like that. I'd have to block the camera. And that way it would not zoom in on my face. It would stay right where the dog is and the stream would commence. If I ever did anything, like hit the PlayStation button, it went back, <laughs> it would totally fuck it up. The camera would recognize my face, zoom in back over here, and then you got my ugly mug on the screen again. So that was really frustrating because a lot of people wanted to see the dog and it kept fucking around. So somewhere around Mortal Kombat 10's release, I managed to get away from the PS4 streaming 
and by picking up a Lenovo laptop. And I managed to do that simply because I was a product tester. I was working really hard at the time, and I managed to save up about, I don't know, 400 bucks or so. Uh, the family needed a laptop, another laptop. Our last one's super old, not working out well, and, uh, you know, I picked up this Google Chromebook for super cheap, like not even, a, like a, probably about 100 bucks or something. It was really, really cheap. But that's not going to stream, and it's, you know, honestly, that's just kind of my little personal move around device, you know? It's not, it, it's a browser only sort of thing. It's not that helpful. Uh, but it was enough for what I wanted it to do. But my family wanted an actual laptop. So I went and bought an actual laptop. Lenovo ThinkPad laptop, the T430. It's, uh, it was a bit old, it was refurbished. Uh, probably just a couple years old. When I picked it up, I think it's like a 2000... I'm not sure when this was. Maybe 2012, 2013 laptop. It's not very strong. I don't have a lot of specs for it. But if you were to look up the T430, I think you would find the, the specs. Uh, boy, how would I pick up the specs? Uh, I might as well since I'm here, right? Like, why don't I talk about the specs? How do I do this? I would grab you. Grab you. Open up my open up my pooter. Let's see. Here we go. System properties. I have a 2.60 gigahertz Intel Core i5-3320M with about four gigabytes of RAM and Windows 7. So it's not very strong, but as you can see, it does seem to hold up eh, decently. You know, it holds up. It does 30 frames per second on OBS at 720p for the video game and this is technically right here this camera is technically 720p as well this camera is 720 resolution even though I have it so small clearly I don't need that many resolutions for the camera but it was the easiest way of setting it up and I just haven't bothered changing it and lately you've been seeing some issue with it but I'll go on that in a second but basically that's my laptop. It's able to, if you see any of my videos from Mortal Kombat 10, the middle of Mortal Kombat 10 on out, uh, that's my laptop at work, and you can see all that happening. Most of the time, it worked out. I, on the laptop, I was using, I still use OBS, uh, open broadcasting software. I've got an Elgato HD60, and uh, I use Twitch Alerts for my Twitch Alerts stuff. So I have like a green screen open up, which is more like a blue screen. I got chat on this thing that's up on the side, and then I got OBS kind of taking up the main front there. It works. Like I said, it's 30 frames per second. Uh, the only time it struggles is when the video game gets really hectic. I think during the Nameless King fight in this game, you could really see it. Uh, a lot of a lot of jankering, a lot of problems happening. You can see my encoding is low. It's 2000. That's so people with low internet can come in and hang out. But for the most part, uh, when I did up it to 3500, which my internet could easily do, for Uncharted, you'll see that I did that for Uncharted 4, it looks really decent, you know? But you should still, you could probably still see it. Uh, there's a lot of hitching here and there. It's, it's very weird. It's not very fluid. It's, it kind of doesn't catch up very well. It kind of acts like it's catching up to the game. That is the laptop's fault. That's not so much Twitch or anything. Uh, it is struggling a little bit, but... OBS never gives me a warning, like a high CPU usage warning, or anything like that. It says everything is fine. I think it's just kind of, it's just a small enough problem that just kind of happens in the back. And, and it's just the laptop. It's just what it needs to do. It is 99% taxed. You know, it's not quite 100%, but it's there. It's very close. So, that's not as good as I would like it. I'd like to get it better. I want to keep my 2000 latency because, you know, I don't, I'm not partnered so people can't lower the quality of the stream. I'd like it so people on cell phones might be able to pop in and hang out without killing the quality too much. You know, 2000 seems to be fair. I see, I, I watch the videos when they're done. They don't look the prettiest, but, you know, you can generally see what's happening and the frames are there. That's, that's kind of the important thing. But... I've been doing this for a while now, and it, it feels like I really want to get better. You know, I want to improve the stream, I want to get better at it, which means I need to buy a dedicated streaming machine. 
And I'm not really looking forward to that because I've never put one together. I've never really... I, I've assembled one with the parts and then went and figured somebody else to help me out with that and we got it good. This time around it really is more about me and my brother doing it. We've done it a couple times, you know, getting the parts together. So what I'm really trying to do is create a stream box this time around. So basically I just want to build a PC without a graphics card. And the cool thing about that is that the way that I have built this PC that I have in my head that I, I have all the workout, you know, done. I've done all the steps. I just have to buy the damn thing. It could actually take a graphics card. And not only that, but it could take my current one I have in my PC when I upgrade my PC's graphic card. Because it's just a 660 Ti. My PC is not good in the graphic card department. But it's like the latest generation i5. Or at least it was a couple years ago. So it's, it's looking good. It's a good computer. It just needs a better graphics card. Lo and behold, we got the 1080 and the 1070 coming around. I'm, you know, going to be looking at that. But the point is... I got a stream machine that's going to be, you know, that's that's my goal. I want to buy this stream machine. We are looking at about 600 bucks, which is hefty, just to get a thing that can stream, you know, console stuff. But I mean, at the same time, it will help out a lot because I could stream console stuff, sure, but I can also stream from my PC or anything else that I want to do. It will be the ultimate stream thing, you know, and it won't be my main computer, so it won't explode, it won't be worked like crazy too much you know it's not going to be doing two things at once playing a game and streaming it will just be a nice dedicated box that hopefully delivers better than the laptop is doing just in general because like one of the big faults with the laptop right now is when twitch alerts kicks in when one of the you know like a follow or something slows everything up it, you can see it a lot of frames just kind of drop i get you know obs kind of gets down to like 25 frames per second or something like that it doesn't look too good uh really unfortunate lately this laptop the usb ports have been acting up and you can see some hitching on my camera you're probably seeing it throughout this whole thing uh i might be able to address that by lowering the resolution of my camera but i just at this point i don't want to fuck around with stuff because i've already done it like a bunch Ugh, so that's it that's the future that's what i'm looking to do that's uh, I haven't talked about this in a while. I want to get it on video. I want to highlight this shit and get it out there so I can be like, yeah, this is the plan. And pretty much all that will happen once I settle down, get my job going, and can save up some money. Start building towards it. So that's the deal. Uh, yeah. Thank you for sitting through all that. 